All right, so this is a bit of a different video, but a refactor video. I want to improve the API for this tile map because as I said in a previous video, um, I'm not happy with having private stuff because like um, I've been studying and making games and engines and softwares for a while. And if you go to like your university and learn software engineer, you'll know all those good practices about having private stuff and then about Give having like a int get tile size with whatever and then have like a setter for this and all this random stuff but basically uh, I've learned that this is not very good <laughs> it's better to have things very simple and a sex accessible you know easy way and not very good to have a bunch of private stuff in the long run this is bad okay so i will refactor this to make things simple and what if someone changes the image size because this is what i mentioned in the last video if you missed that uh, this is why i'm keeping all this private because the tile size needs to be the same and i need to have make sure that all the images here have the same tile size and i even do some assertion to make sure this is correct when i add the tile so this is why i made everything private but well if you change well first things first it means that you don't understand the api very well so this will be a problem and the second thing which is probably the most important thing this code will still work because it does have assertions to warn you hey the tile size needs to be positive so here's a crash <laughs> um, and then when you resize the image it does have some assertions too and then um, it does have assertions when I append an image and if this image is larger than the tile size it will not gonna work there's an assertion here to make sure that the image fits into the image that I'm appending to. So I already have code to, to, to avoid that. So this argument that I'm making this private is, is not good, right? So I'm changing this. Uh, the very first thing I do is I get rid of this struct and I'll use an FTD uh, pair instead, just to make the gold base a little bit simple. Uh, it is better for me, in my opinion, in my eyes, to have it like that. And I'll, of course, make this public. So I'll get rid of the tile size. Oh, I did something weird in the code. I hate when I mess up with Visual Studio Zoom because then it looks odd to me. Anyways, so I'm doing this. This is the very first thing. And the second thing that I want to do is to not have these images. I want to build this because this is just a lookup um table for the images and i believe that you can view this on the fly you know so yeah i'm probably gonna remove this but let me get this compiling and running first the, the way it is and then we can change uh things in the future and i just need to make sure that the i don't have any misunderstanding the tile size title anymore so i like to uh make a an underline here in the beginning I don't know why, but I like this way. Now, of course, I have public stuff. So I need to fix all this. And of course, I no longer have an image. I have a second. Good. First, and this is second. Okay, this is the tile size. I'm pushing this back. It should work just fine. Yeah, this is a simple refactor. Should work. I forgot something. Yeah. Again. Let me run this. And as you can see, it works. Good. Um, so the code just got simpler, right? Way better, but we can improve this. How? By removing this images array. So I will completely get rid of this. And now what I need to do, get rid of this too. I can actually just do tiles 
Close water and up tiles. Um, now I need to refactor the submit code, right? And this one needs to stop existing as well. And actually, I don't even need this add tile anymore because the tiles is public, so I can just push back directly to the tile. I leave it for now, but that's like a new choose function, but it's not uh, mandatory, it's optional, right? Okay, so now I don't need this check. This is the very first thing that I want to change. Um, and then when I'm using this image, I actually don't need, I need to resize this first, but I don't need this cleanup uh, process, this cleanup step. This is not necessary. Um, what I would do is move this up and then I would do for auto tile in tiles. Um, I need to add this. Maybe I'll, I'll actually just do an image set. Because then I can just do, I need to include the set here. And the reason why I'm doing this uh, is because the set we're not going to insert this twice. And just because we probably need the image offsets. Hmm. Doing a cleanup first to remove any unused image so we don't include that for no reason. We don't need any of that. And now here we can use the image set. I wonder if we still need this map. So now we can resize this and with the image count Yeah, I believe it will we need this offset just to get like uh, this math right, this math correctly, you know. So let's actually do this. I reiterate over. And I'll just do image offsets, Im image equals to image offset. Yeah, this will be it. Zero, one, two, three. It works just fine, right? Uh, and the last thing that I need to do is to append this to the atlas. And I can actually do this here. I just need to figure out the why, the this. And this is this. Why? So this does not need to exist. Oh, I need to use this. Yep. So now technically, Look at this, the code is way simpler already. And I hope I'm not using anything, not missing anything actually. Probably not. And maybe I don't even need this set because if you really think about, I can just get image offset size directly here. Like I can just do this one second. Oh no, because then it will repeat this. 
I I'll leave this. It's fine. I'm not against this. And I'm pretty sure that we do have better ways of doing this. But this is really better than the previous approach. So I'm fine with this. So I'm resizing the atlas. Calculation the offset and appending the image to the atlas. Yeah, it should work just fine. Let me just add a comment. Beauty uh, set with all images for future lookup. Let me build this. Yep, it works. And you can see this is much better. This is much better. Like this is a better API. I like this more than the previous approach. And again, if I made a mistake here, um, I will know this. I will know this mistake very easy because I do have assertions. If I change the tile size, um, well, if the new, if I put an image that's smaller than the tile, it will work but it will look odd and different, but that's expected. This is what you expect if you do this. Um, and the same if you put an image that it is larger than the tile uh, size, it will not gonna work. And you expect that to not work. So you have an assertion and then you can fix that. So this is the proper way of doing this. And the API already looks way simpler and way better. And you know what I'm thinking here live? I don't want this either, because if I have an add, add tile, it will make sense to have a remove tile. And then we go to a problem that I will start add, adding a bunch of not good functions. So I will actually completely uh, erase this add tile too. And then, of course, in implementations, because they are dumb. They do dumb stuff, you know. Uh, like, I'm asserting this, but again, it will already do that later on. So, yeah. Maybe something that I'm, maybe I need to do here, actually, is to assert that I have an image here. Like, I need to assert that I have an image, because otherwise it will explode, right? Because I have some memory access violation. Making sure the pointer is not new. I mean, if the pointer is garbage, it will still have a memory access violation, but at least this is um, an obvious check. And then here, when I add this tile, I can just simply do tilemap.tiles.push back, and then I'm pushing back this. How cool is that? And since I have a proper constructor for the for the transform, if I look here, where's my transform? I do have the constructor that takes like position only, scale only, rotation. So it will work probably if I only pass this vector two. Let's see, let's see if it works or not. Oh. Yep, it is working. And again, API is much simpler. No garbage. Look at this. This is good. You look and you straight up know everything that is going on. It's great. It's not a problem to have private stuff, but uh, I, at least I don't mind having it. Uh, maybe I should make the image a pointer in public because what if you have multiple tile maps that shares the same image? That that's a possibility, you know. Maybe the the atlas is the same, but I will leave this as an implementation detail for now because I believe that it will bring more headache than solve things. And my entire point with this API, with this uh, DNM2 API, is to um, prevent you from having a lot of headache. So you can see that all my stuff, except this one maybe, but this is uh, because of um, how the the STB true type works. So I, I'm not planning to change this, but most of the classes are very simple. Even like the, the image class, it's simple. And I like it this way. So the mesh class, 
this is simple right it is here if you if you change you know you changed if you change the shaders you know you changed so we need to submit it again um and the same thing now for the tile map so this is a much better approach in my opinion and that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and um, let me know if you want more refactoring classes lessons or whatever this was <laughs> like that because i like doing this this type of content Maybe I should write something that bothers me a bit. That I'm still using SD vector and SD pair. Maybe I should write my own, but sounds like a bit of over engineering for me. So I leave it like that for now. Anyways, that's it, folks. Thanks, and I see you in the next video.